welcome welcome to all of you who are new to my channel um i'm Brittany christina um, i'm a homeowner okay i have been spending the last year really enjoying my home that i purchased okay making it feel somewhat like me um and i'm so pleased y'all we have reached one year of home ownership and it feels amazing since we have reached that one year milestone of home ownership i thought it'd be interesting to share with you all my top home purchases of 2022 okay so these are things that i absolutely love and would buy 10 times over for my house and highly suggested highly recommend it if we share the same style and home aesthetic um these might be some items that you you know might enjoy yourself and you might be worth looking into so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video okay so let's get into this list y'all i'm so excited okay so in no particular order because all of these items i equally love okay um the first one i want to talk about is the target and studio mcgee barrel chairs okay i know you guys have seen this they have been trending honestly for the past year um there's so many different colors but i particularly have the linen color and when i tell you i'm obsessed like I love these chairs so much. I've had them for maybe about a good six months, honestly, and I absolutely love them. What I love about the linen, number one, is it's super versatile. I can take this chair right now, it's in my living room. I can take it, I can switch it out with the one I have in my office. I can put it in my bedroom. Like I can put it wherever in the house and it just blends right in. I think because of just because of the aesthetics and how it presents itself, but also because of the color. Um, I really do like the linen fabric. I love the shape. I think for the price too, like it, it, I really got a good deal. So hands down, I would buy this chair over and over and over. I think that you could still purchase online at Target. I will link them down below. Okay, so number two, again, in no particular order, are these black velvet, bar stools that I got from Amazon. Yeah. So a couple months ago, I decided to upgrade my kitchen table and I wanted a high table. So I wanted like a bar setup. And so I switched out the stools that came with the table. So the bar table that I have in my kitchen did come with stools, but they were very hard. It didn't have any type of back support. They just were not comfortable. So I was like, okay, let me, let me see what Amazon got. And I came across these velvet bar stools. Um, the back of it has like this, I don't know, like this pinched stitching detail, which is perfection. I love it. When I tell you y'all, these stools are, first of all, they were so easy to put together. They are super comfortable. Like the seat is wide. Cause you know, I got, I got a little junk in my trunk. I need like cushion. I need my whole bottom to be covered. And like this seat is super wide. It's not narrow. It's very plush. It's so comfortable and it's just beautiful. Like it just aesthetically, it looks good in my house. So I am very pleased. Like these are this type of stools that if I were to move and I was contemplating leaving things behind for whatever reason, I'm not leaving these stools. They, they're coming wherever I go. These stools are coming with me. Period. Okay, so the third thing in my home, you all, that I love, love, love and obsessed with is the IKEA mirrors. Now, I don't know how to necessarily pronounce the name, so I will, again, put everything in the description. But these mirrors, I know you have seen them everywhere. They have been trending, and let me tell you, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. They're worth the hype. I know that they're just mirrors, but I love the look that it adds to my home okay the frame of the mirror it's almost creates like the shadow box effect if you will because the frame is a, is a little bit thick and it comes out and it's black so it just it just has like a just a more modern look than just the regular mirrors that you see on a day-to-day -day. and i really like that i really love that for my home but yeah they're beautiful I would for sure buy these over and over and over and over and over again, okay? So yes, be sure to check out the Ikea mirrors. I will link them down below. The next uh, item that is on my top 10 best home purchases list 
is this is another item that I was influenced to buy. I know you guys have seen this everywhere. Um, so this is almost like a one year update slash review on this item. This is the Amazon knife set. I don't know what the formal name is. Again, I will link it in the description, but I know you guys have seen this. I'm going to put a picture up. Okay. It's very beautiful. It's in this like clear acrylic case it's displayed beautifully okay and it comes with all these different accessories and stuff when i tell you guys not only do i like the way that it looks like that's a given that's why i bought it because just you walk in the kitchen you have just visual aesthetics that's a given right these knives work it, like they're so sharp they're so good and it does come with a knife sharpener so if it does get dull you can easily sharpen it but they're, they work really well. Like, it's not just that they look good. They actually do work really well. And because of that, I'm just like, oh, easily, like I would buy these again and again and again. If somehow this broke or, you know, I moved, lost it, whatever the case is, I'm gonna go and just replace it with the same exact thing. So if it's still available, I will link it down below. But I know these were trending, but they actually work really well. So if you were thinking about getting it, I'm here to reassure you it's worth the money. <laughs> the next thing you guys that I am obsessed with are my picture lights. So I have canvas paintings all over like the one behind me and all my canvas paintings are created by yours truly. Okay. I do have the picture lights on top of every piece of art that I have in my home because I think it just elevates the look and really you know gives me this art gallery type like sophisticated type of theme okay and I've gone through several different types of picture lights but the ones that I landed on that I love I'm gonna show you a video or a picture of them they are rechargeable lights so versus battery powered um and I love this it's super easy you know, it ha comes with the remote control. There's three different settings. Um, you can turn the brightness up on the lights. You can do all these things, but I think the biggest thing that I, like why I love, love it is because it's not hardwired, you know, it doesn't require a switch to turn on and off. I think it's a great alternative for those who don't want to like hardwire lights in their home, right? they for the price like you can't beat that all you have to do one is magnetic you just snatch the light from the the host i guess you could say the magnetic host and you just plug it in like a phone and then you know it's red when it needs to be charged when it's done charging it turns green and you just pop it back up and that's it it's so easy so if you are looking for an again an alternative to add more lighting to your place um especially like um, ambient lighting like i think the these gallery wall lights do really create an ambiance if you're watching movies or whatever the case is like as opposed to just turning on the bright lights that you have in your home so absolutely love them i have them all over my house i think i have five um all throughout the house and they work so well and yeah so if you're interested in gallery wall lights i will link the ones that i got below again they came from amazon okay so as we stick with the lighting thing i also am obsessed with these corner lights that i got that also came from amazon i'm very particular about my lighting you guys i'm very particular about my lighting um and sometimes just the natural bulbs that you know come with the home i'm not always like into it so sometimes you don't want all of that but also i don't want to be in the dark either right so i i really like it what i like the most about it so i have five um i have three on my main level like the living room kitchen area and then i have two in my master bedroom because they are within the same radius of my home one remote controls all of the lights in the house they're all connected right so i thought that was a cool feature i didn't realize it would do that but i'm actually not mad that it that it does that there's different settings there's different colors for different moods like it's just really a vibe you guys when it really does set the mood um and i love them i love them um, they have different colors i think there's three different colors i have the gold perfection they have black and i think they have like a silver chrome color as well so 
if you are into lighting or you want to get into lighting, um, I highly recommend you try these lights out. Like they are superb. You. Okay, so this next item I'm so obsessed with and that is my bed. I love the color. I thought the color was very unique and different. I love the vertical lines. I'm a sucker for lines, like just the basic thing. It was very, you know, minimalistic, but it's still very chic at the same time. And also it's velvet. Um, and it, to me, the velvet plus the color, plus the vertical lines, it just gives like grown, women vibes i don't know like it's just it just i just immediately fell in love with it so i have not had any issues with this bed it's sturdy nothing has broken not like again i had this bed for a full complete year and it's perfect i wake up every morning and i do my little stretch wake up to my r&b alarm you know music and i'm just like yo every single morning i feel like a princess or I feel like a queen, I should say, okay? Because this is my queendom. Like I just, I'm just so happy <laughs> when I wake up from a good night's rest. And yeah, that's all because of my bed. So um, hands down, best decision I made. My desk is so beautiful. So let me tell you guys, I've grown to really love this desk. I initially got this desk as a dupe for the CB2 desk. Um, however, at the time it was out of stock. It wasn't gonna come back in stock for another couple months and I did not wanna wait. I came across, there were several dupes that I actually came across and I opted to go with this one. And I think when I first got it, I love the color. I love how sturdy it is. I wanted something that was given like executive vibes but for a boss babe like me you know what i mean and i think it checks all the boxes when i first got it i was a little like iffy only because i wanted a desk that was i don't want to use the term see-through but you could see underneath it like and this one has a partition and the partition pretty much goes all the way to the floor. There was another iteration of this desk where the partition was a little bit higher. And I'm like, oh, like, I think I wanted that one. But when I tell you guys, I'm actually glad that I got this one because underneath this desk, there's a lot of stuff. And the fact that it's a little bit low in the front, it's easy to disguise the mess that I have behind the desk and underneath the desk. So, and it's not that messy, but I have, you know, wires and things. Um, I have a printer, I have a filing cabinet. Like this is really big. It's really big, it's really spacious. For me, honestly, you could probably fit like three separate people. I mean, we would be shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder, but um it, to give you like just an inkling you could fit three separate people sitting at this desk with ease again we will be touching shoulders probably but um it's pretty big and so yeah i have my printer under here i have mail sometimes i don't know why like when i'm going through mail i like to lay it on the floor i don't know why i do that as opposed to like the desk I don't know. I don't know why I do like certain things, but the point is, if I were to have guests or whatever, you walk past seemingly, it always looks presentable and clean. But behind the scenes, if you walk behind the desk, it's a different story. So I say all that to say, I love this desk. I really do. Um, it does what I needed to do. You know, maybe at some point I would upgrade, but I think for the price and for what I was looking for and how sturdy it is and, you know, just like all the things, like there's nothing that I wish it had. There's nothing that's like different. I just, I really do like it as is. Um, and yeah, this is like one of my favorite pieces of furniture and I didn't even know that I would like it this much when I was buying it. So again, it's grown on me, but now I'm just like super in love with it. And yeah, that's it. All right, y'all. So that was my top purchases, best purchases of 2022. Okay. One year in the home and 
I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving how everything is coming together. Honestly, every single room at this point is done, is complete. Yes, I could tweak some things a little bit. And I was supposed to do a home tour. And I don't know. I don't know why I've been dragging my feet to like film this, but home tour coming soon. Okay. So stay tuned. Um, thank you all for watching my video and I will see you guys during the next one. Bye.